So, we have some Final Fantasy 16 quote unquote news from Games Radar. Uh, the official PlayStation Magazine issue 181 reports that Final Fantasy 16 will be releasing in 2021. The PlayStation Magazine in the UK covered the following games of the next generation Spider Man Miles Morales, Godfall, Final Fantasy 16, Immortals Phoenix Rising, Riders Republic, Demon Souls, and more. So I'm reading on Reddit and Twitter posts about this magazine supposedly confirming that Final Fantasy 16 will be coming out in 2021, uh, but I don't see that officially confirmed here anywhere in the magazine article. Uh, all that's official is Final Fantasy 16 is coming soon and it's only on the PS5. This next-gen debut for Final Fantasy will make use of all the tech inside Sony's new console, but who are the new heroes? What is the massive fire demon? I mean, come on, you couldn't at least figure that one out. Uh, what is the combat style this time around? Pick up a copy of the official PlayStation Magazine issue 181 and find the answers to these questions and more. This is the December 2020 version. Uh, earliest we'll know if there's any truth in what is rumored will be a little over a month from now. So this isn't a lineup of games coming out in 2021. Uh, Spider-Man, Miles Morales, and Demon's Souls are launch titles for the PS5. Honestly, I think either the publication mixed up Final Fantasy 16 news is coming in 2021, with Final Fantasy 16 is coming in 2021. Uh, or the people reporting this is mixing that up. Games Radar is saying here, it's coming out in 2021, but nothing in any of this confirms an actual 2021 release date. I'm reading this article closer. Uh, this page here is just a sampler and doesn't tell us anything we don't already know. So it's possible that Games Radar already has an advanced copy of the magazine and there's something in it that I'm not seeing here that confirms a 2021 release date. Personally, I think Final Fantasy 16 will come out in late 2021 or early 2022, but not because Games Radar says so or that this magazine might say so. I think this game's further along in development than we think. Uh, there was a triple click interview with Jason Schreier, who claims that Final Fantasy 14's secretly been in development over the past four years. Although, Jason Schreier says a lot of things. And number two, that Famitsu article earlier this month about the game's basic development and scenario production being completed leads me to believe that they've already built their assets to scale, and now they're just building out the rest of the game using everything they polished, which doesn't nearly take as long. If the game is a late 2021 release, we will probably get confirmation around February or March. Final Fantasy VII Remake was officially announced at E3 2019, which was nine months before its release. Uh, I remember they dropped a trailer out of nowhere at the May 2019 State of Play. But would I be upset if Final Fantasy XVI weren't released in 2021 or even 2022? No. Uh, I want Yoshida and his crew to really take their time with this game, so I can wait. I mean, I don't mind the delays if it'll make the game that much freaking better. As much as I appreciate Creative Business Unit 3's consistency rolling out the Final Fantasy XIV patches, uh, and development for MMOs is a whole different beast altogether than a single player game, my message to the dev crew would be for Yoshida to get at least more than four hours of sleep each night <laughs> so he can be at the top of his game. I'm perfectly happy in the meantime for just news being drip fed here and there. And we also have a lot of other cool games coming out in 2021 to tide us over. Resident Evil Village, Canada Bridge of Spirits, uh, Horizon Forbidden West, possibly God of War Ragnarok. I think this article tells us absolutely nothing that we didn't already know, but it's at least made me feel better to know that Final Fantasy 16 is in the spotlight somewhere. So as much as this article tells us nothing of value, I think I'm good for now. <laughs>